dress up and go nowhere. Yes. The people inside, the objects inside, they deserve to see you looking beautiful. It does not necessarily have to be when you're going out or where you have something to do or where you have an occasion to attend outside. The people inside, they deserve more. hi guys welcome back to my channel it's been a minute i'm sorry i've been away for a bit i've been trying to like work on a couple of things and plus i've been really busy with school and there's just been a lot going on that's really why i've not been posting but i'll try to make that right if you give me the chance <laughs> anyway um everybody already knows what's happening like in the world in our country so um this video is supposed to be like really chilled it's supposed to be like a video to help you get through these times because then i've been talking to like a couple of my friends and a lot of people are like really bored at home they don't know what they're meant to do especially people who are used to like leaving the house every day and today's video is basically things you can do to like get over this whole quarantine period basically things you can work on or keep yourself busy with and just you know allow this time pass the first thing on my list is sleep yes sleep you need to sleep sleep well because after now hmm things might get really busy and you know have time to sleep again so you better sleep or sleep now if you're a student for instance and you go back to school they may rush you so you better sleep now then if you're working there might be a lot of things you'd have to do when you resume so you may not have time to sleep as much as possible so now is a good time to sleep and really rest and like recover from all the stress you've been through in the past so really try to sleep very well like at night take naps during the day like but just sleep it's good for the you. second thing on the list is watch movies there are a lot of movies you can watch foreign movies nigerian movies uh -huh. and there are a lot of places where you can get movies like the reason is that it's your data so but um there are a lot of random places as i said like there is net niger there's netflix so I don't know that major to come into my head right now, but I'll put a list of a few others in the description box so you can go and check it and then you can always check out movies on those sites and then you can watch them, keep yourself busy. There you can if you feel like maybe like um, a single movie service is too short, like oh, after one hour, two hours, what what will I be doing? There are a lot of seasonal movies like series here and there. So then you can also watch YouTube. There are a lot of videos on YouTube. There are a lot of different things on YouTube. Things are on YouTube. So you can watch YouTube. So that's like a good way to spend your time. Okay, so the next thing on the list would be to play games. Like there are a lot of games you can play to keep yourself busy. Like games you can play at home with your family members. Then games you can play online. For games you can play at home, there is what. Ludo, Monopoly, Scrabble, Chess, the list goes on. Then for those you can play online, there are a lot of random games you can play online. I'll probably try to leave a list of some online games you can play. Then there are also a lot of game apps you can download and play and they're not even really that large. So there's that. Then there are, there are also video games you can play. So the adventure video games, football, you can also like, you know, go into competitions and the rest. Then eat yes eat well like now is like a period where you're not rushing anywhere you're not rushing to work you're not late for classes you're not in a hurry going anywhere you're at home you have all the time on your hands so you have the opportunity to take your time and prepare what you want to have and eat it and of all periods now is period to eat well like eat healthy and all that because Obviously, you have to like, you know, take things that are going to boost your immune system. So, you have to eat well right now, this period. Mm. But that does not now mean that you should not be eating like eight times in a deal. Then you now finish all the food in your house and say that I say that you should eat. Mm -mm. If you finish your food, don't hold me rest. Mm. Exercise is the next thing. And I have to make sure that I mention this one immediately after eating so that if your stomach begins to enter a room before you, you cannot see that I'm the one that caused it. <laughs> like how many of you have seen that post? I'm going to like try and leave like a picture of it somewhere on the screen so you can see it. But then we're at home, we're not doing much. At least what we can do much, but we're not really moving around a lot. We're not stressing ourselves as much. So the truth is that your body's not going to burn down 
the food as much as it would have during the whole normal period where you probably have to like study or go to work and brainstorm and all those things so you really have to exercise during this period to like keep fit and ensure your body is functioning properly and also to burn all the excess foods that you do not need social media is the next thing another fun way to spend your time and so you don't get bored you can talk to people you can you know video call people you can send messages send voice notes whatever it is but there are different social media apps so there's facebook there is instagram twitter whatever it is you're looking for snapchat there are all different types to suit different needs so you can use your social media now it's time to be active you can grow that following that you've always wanted you know become an influencer so yeah, social media is another great thing to do when you're bored. Okay, the very next thing I have on my list is read a book. Like there are a million and one books out there that you could read. Like there are a lot of amazing stories you can read. There are a lot of books out there you can read. There are a lot of foreign books, African books, like just a lot of books. There are even a lot of Nigerian authors like out there doing like really good. I do not really want to like mention books. I don't mention like the authors. So I will post a list of books I think you can read and then or rather books that I've read or that people have recommended to me like people that I can trust their recommendations. So, and then some of the books I've read I'll put a link or a list of some of them in the description box so that you can not have like hard copy books like you can always get like books online like there are a lot of um, apps that you can get on, um, on there are a lot of websites also so yeah you can always get books there then if you're a student don't forget your book or oh, still try to read like even if you're not reading as much as you're reading in school but still try to make the effort so you don't totally like leave everything behind so that when you resume it's not like you're starting all over again from the beginning because you've been doing something at least so just try to keep your books handy so that's that about reading the next thing is learn a skill online there are a lot of platforms youtube is one of them where you could get to learn on youtube and a lot of other like online platforms have made things really easy you can learn a lot of things online you can get professional skills online you can just pick one thing that you've always wanted to learn and you can use opportunity to learn it now that you're at home and you're not doing much then the very next thing is learn how to cook like you may not think it's important but then i think everybody should know how to cook not necessarily everything but then at least a few things like the basic things you probably eat all the time or the basic things you think you could just easily run when you don't really have the time to like get something out there or you're trying to save your money and stuff so yeah i think it's important to learn how to cook at least the basics just a few things that and you don't die of starvation so psh, learn how to cook it's dress up and go nowhere yes the people inside the objects inside they deserve to see looking beautiful it doesn't necessarily have to be when you're going out or where you have something to do or you have an occasion to attend outside the people inside they deserve more they do they deserve more from you so yeah dress up even if you're not going anywhere just dress up look fine look fly when you've dressed up and you're looking fly and nice take pictures we take pictures post and tension us we want it so yeah dress up look nice take take nice pictures post and you know you'd have comments to reply to that should keep you busy for a while mm -hmm. you can do window shopping online mm, that's the next thing just look at fine things by the time you look at a couple of fine things for a while time will pass like you don't end up buying it, you don't end up spending your money, but then you know there's just a satisfaction that comes from looking at beautiful things. Yeah. So you can do that. That should help you, you know, not be bored for a bit. Then the very next thing would be um mend that broken relationship. But then I want to make this um I just want to make this point. I'm saying that if the reason why it's broken in the first place is due to some stupid reason or something you cannot deal with, let it go. But if not, if it was probably because you've been busy or you had a lot, so you've like been caught up and not had time to like reach out to people and stuff, now is a good time to do that. So, yeah. 
Okay, the next one, which is like one of the most important ones, is to work on your relationship with God. I think it's always very important to like keep that handy, make sure that you guys have like a good relationship. Like, but yeah, so make sure that you have like a good relationship. You have the truth is that um, God is like a major part of our existence. So if you cut off like the source, you get it's gonna affect every other thing. So that's very important too. Then the final one is oh, it stay safe and adhere to all the health regulations that we've been given try to make sure you wash your hands you can be bored and just be like oh i need to wash my hands and then you see you wash your hand like 10 times in a day because you were bored like that number of times when you're bored you can wash your hand when you're bored you can sanitize when you, when you finish touching your phone and then it dies you can go and wash your hand or you can sanitize the phone just you know there are a lot of things to do to keep yourself busy during this period so ah you can't be bored like then one of the things I like to say also is that um, if you feel like the whole TV and keeping up with the whole um, pandemic thing is putting you under unnecessary pressure or is making you think about a lot of things, making you feel weird, maybe you should just like take a break from it. You don't necessarily have to keep up with it. We're all like in the country, so just you don't have to follow up on every detail about it. If it brings us to the end of this video. If you really liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Do also leave comments about your favorite movies, your favorite books in the comments section so that those of us who are looking forward to do, you can help us. Also, if there are um, things you also feel like people could do that I didn't mention, things that are like helping you out, the things that you're doing, you can also mention in the comments section. So this is it. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Please do as to share with your family members and your friends. Like people are looking for things to do everywhere. So help them as I've helped you now. Help somebody else out there. I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Bye. See you soon.